I recently installed these DIY solar lights in my shed and they've been so helpful for when I need to go in at night and grab something. The best part about this setup is that the parts I used are incredibly beginner friendly. In fact, I'll show you how I made these lights without using a single tool. And this setup isn't just perfect for a small shed, it's great for boats and vehicles too. So let's get started. So I went on Amazon and got a small 12 volt lead acid battery and a cheap solar charge controller. As you'll see later, what's super important here is getting a charge controller that has a two amp USB port. Then I used this double sided mounting tape to mount my charge controller to my shed wall in about the easiest way possible. The next step is connecting the charge controller to the battery, which usually requires tools like wire cutters, wire strippers, and wire crimpers. But again, I wanted to make this as easy as possible, so I picked up a couple cheap adapter cables, one of which already has a built-in fuse for safety reasons. Then I connected the adapter cables, and just like that, I had everything I needed to connect the charge controller to the battery. I located the battery terminals on the charge controller, and then I matched up positive to positive and negative to negative. Normally for this step, you would need a small flathead screwdriver, but this is a zero tools build, so I used a pair of tweezers instead. Some other common alternatives would be the nail cleaner on a pair of nail clippers, this part on a hair clip, or the flathead screwdriver on a multi-tool. I even had success with a pocket knife. So I used my trusty tweezers to screw the wires into the battery terminals. Once that was done, all I had to do was connect the alligator clips to their respective battery terminals. The charge controller automatically turned on and then I just selected my battery type, which in this case is a sealed lead acid battery. Speaking of, if you know anything about batteries, you might be wondering, Alex, why didn't you use a lithium battery? There's a very simple reason. Because this solar lighting setup is in my shed, the battery will experience temperatures below freezing. And lithium batteries shouldn't be charged when they're below freezing. With the hardest part out of the way, all that was left to do was connect the solar panel and the lights and I'd be done. So I found a good spot on my shed's most south facing roof and mounted a small 12 volt solar panel, again with the double sided mounting tape. You might be surprised to see that I'm using tape here, but if you've seen any of the tests that people have put this tape through, you'll know it's more than capable of holding a small solar panel to the roof, even in brutally stormy weather. I fed the solar panels wires through a very helpful gap in my shed wall. Then I located the solar panel terminals on my charge controller and once again grabbed my trusty tweezers to screw down the terminals. Once I did that, my charge controller displayed the battery charging icon to let me know my solar panel was safely charging my battery. And last but not least, we've got the lights. I used USB lights that I just plugged into the USB port on the charge controller. Now, this next detail is important. There is a setting on the charge controller that controls the USB port. To be able to turn the lights on and off myself, I had to change this setting from 16 to 15. So once I set the load setting to 15, I pressed the bottom button to turn on the USB port, and then I was able to turn the lights on like normal. And at that point, everything was set up so that all I had to do to turn the lights on and off was press the bottom button on the charge controller. And then it was time to peel and stick. The lights have an adhesive on the back that lets you just mount them wherever, so I stuck them to my shed ceiling. And they look great. Just like that, I had a complete DIY solar lighting setup. While I wait for it to get dark outside so I can show you the lights in action, I'll say that I picked up a very small solar panel and battery because I'm not gonna be using these lights that often. If you need your lights to last longer, all you have to do is pick up a bigger solar panel and a bigger battery. Here are some recommended sizes based on how long you might be wanting to run your lights. Okay, here we go. It's the moment of truth. Let's see if they work. Turn them on. They'll flicker for a sec, which I'll talk about. And there they go. So why did the lights flicker? Well, it's because it just takes a second for the USB port to boot up to full power. That's why it's important to get a charge controller with a two amp USB port. Otherwise, the lights will be dim or they'll flicker. All right, and there you have it. Links to everything I use will be in the description. Let me know what you think of this setup. Subscribe if you want more DIY solar projects.